in this video I will show you the new sensor fusion algorithm in action. As you might know, we have recently released two new versions of our software components, the Notocon 0.2 and the complete version of our new Blender add-on. These releases are important because they allow you to use the new sensor fusion algorithm we have been implementing, which brings improved accuracy and stability to the capture, but they also include a faster calibration, sensor calibration algorithm and they also let you see an approximation of the magnetic disturbances on the proximities of the sensors by color coding the bones on the screen. By the way, these new features were meant to be implemented after our crowdfunding campaign, but as you know, the coronavirus outbreak forced us to postpone the campaign. In the meantime, we went ahead and implemented features, and now the campaign is about to be open again with an optimized version of the hardware that we will lower in price in about 100 euros. So this is a great chance to get an improved version of this hardware for a unique price. So be sure to check the link that you will find in the description. So back to this demo. We will be publishing two versions of this video. A shorter one in which I will jump directly to the demonstration, uh, but also a, a longer one for those of you who are perhaps working with the suit and want to see the complete processing from accessing the Raspberry and activating the Notocor and so on. If you are seeing this, it's because you are seeing the short version in which we have already have the data coming to Blender. But as you can see, it's not really looking right yet. We are missing the post calibration, which is a procedure in which the, the performer has to stand on T-Pose looking south for a few seconds while the program collects data in order to make the pose look right. So I will do it using the timer calibration that you can find under the advanced controls of the This is not a great calibration. In order to do it right, you will be have to, we have to do it in, in two persons, and the other person should click the calibrate button. But if you just want to get a, a normal capture and not really accurate one, this calibration is okay. So as you can see, the, the accuracy of this new capture is much better than that it was before. I don't really know if you get. I will look at this camera. I don't really know if you get to see this now but we will be for sure sharing some samples of, of captures of captures by with these new versions so you can try this at home and what I wanted to show you apart from this new accuracy was the new magnetic compensation and the magnetic uh, disturbance that you get to see with colors on the on the blender atom. Okay so I was doing this here uh, close to this metal frame I am not doing, I am not really close to it right now, but if I get closer, as you can see, the sensors start perceiving some magnetic disturbance and then start to send data which makes the colors turn red. Okay. So this is an indicator for you that the if you don't get to turn all the the sensor screen at the beginning is an indication for you that the environment in which you are calibrating, you are capturing, is not the best one and you should try to move to another one in order to get better captures. Okay? So that's the demo for today, that's what I wanted to show you. If you got this hardware at home, please try it and try these new versions and let us know how they are working for you. And if you don't, well don't miss this opportunity of getting one of the first production versions of this hardware on our upcoming crowdfunding campaign. As usual, you will find the link in the description and we will see you in the next video. Bye!